I'm Shane Woodford. Today we're going to explore the lovely little town of Fobor. Fobor, one of the oldest market towns in Denmark, is located in the south coast of the Danish island of Foon. Fobor dates back to at least 1229, and as the Danes would say, it's a daily boo or delightful town. Even from miles away, the city's iconic bell tower draws the eye. The bell tower is the only surviving remnant of a 12th century Catholic church torn down when the Reformation swept across Denmark in the 1500s. The tower's bells still ring out four times a day, as they have for hundreds of years. For a fee, you can get a tour and climb all the way to the top to enjoy the view. The bell tower isn't the only eye-catching reminder of Fobor's medieval past. The Vesterport or West Gate is all that remains of the city's medieval fortifications, and it's only by chance it's still standing. In 1670, the Danish king of the time decided he needed some more revenue, so he passed a new law. All goods coming into Danish cities had to be taxed. So, gates like this overnight became sort of ad hoc custom stations. Natural choke points going into then fortified Danish cities. People were lined up, their goods checked, and then they had to cough up a tax. As you can imagine, not terribly popular. Years later, people were only too happy to tear these gates down. The only reason the Vesterport survived was it was built into the grocery store of a powerful merchant family in Faubourg at the time. They demanded compensation. The powers that be in the city argued about this and then finally gave up the idea. And it's a good thing the Vesterport survived because today it's only one of two such fortified gates in all of Denmark. Today, the Gogatha or pedestrian shopping street is modern Faubourg's commercial and social heart. No, I don't want to fall in love. On a sunny summer day, the Gogatha is the place to be. Whether you're a tourist or a local, this is where you go for a stroll, enjoy the sunshine, and do some shopping. It's also a place to meet some friends, grab a drink, and just do a little people watching. The Gogatha empties out into Faubourg's small but enchanting town square. Here, restaurants offer plenty of patio space, giving diners a chance to lift their glasses for a cheers or skol in Danish as they enjoy their meals with a view. There are plenty of charming areas, nooks, and crannies to explore in Faubourg. However, it's this end of the Goga that I find most enchanting. It's here on the cobblestone streets among the colorful half-timbered homes angled and leaning against each other with age that makes you feel like you've stepped back into time. And in a way you can. This is where the Dengamli Gore or Old Farm is located. The museum takes visitors on a tour through Fobor's Golden Age. If you're more into art and sculpture, at the other end of the Gogatha is the Faubourg Museum, which occasionally offers a nighttime Scotty Yacht or treasure hunt, where you explore the museum and its exhibits by flashlight. I can't recommend this highly enough. It really provides a fresh, fun museum experience. On the edge of the historic center, you'll find the Helions Kirken, or Holy Spirit Church. The church used to be the south wing of a larger complex established in the 1400s as a monastery and hospital by the medieval order of the Holy Ghost. A ship hangs from the ceiling, a reminder of the prayers for those who sailed away to fish or trade with no guarantee of coming home. Outside, the cemetery grounds are lovingly maintained, offering a quiet space for some reflection and the chance to examine the worn but intricately carved headstones from a bygone age. Behind Faubourg is the Sunit, a small lake and surrounding park with a path to walk or bike around. There's also some really great viewpoints offering a stunning view of the city and beyond it, the Faubourg Fjord. Oceanfront, you'll find the Hauna Bath or Harbour Bath, a fairly recent addition to the city. It's a really cool way to create a public space on the water for people to gather in the sunshine and, of course, to play in the water during the summer heat. There's even a built in ocean fed kids' pool on one side for the little ones to frolic and splash. Oh 
and make sure to check out the whale tail art just beside the Hauna Bath on your way by. Faubourg does not lack for lovely waterfront space to enjoy, including this canal connecting the Hauna Bath to the marina. Here you can stroll along the water and around some local restaurants, although once a year during the summer people also gather at the canal to walk the plank. The harbour still plays a big role in today's Faubourg as much as it did in the past, with modern pleasure boats having long since replaced ships from afar laden with trading goods. Although once a year at the annual festival, the tall ships of old return to fill the harbour and people stream in to see them. No visit to Faubourg is complete without a stroll down the Long Alenia, a waterfront walkway meandering by some lovely old homes through parks from sandy beaches to the town's historic centre. It's an especially beautiful walk as the sun sets, bringing an end to the day and our look at Faubourg. Keep your travel dreams alive. We'll see you on the next Wandering. <laughs>